show. How you doing? I'm Dave Wiggins and this is Levi Wiggins and we will be doing a short podcast today um, looking back and looking forward as usual. Um, Neil's away uh, off the podcast for a couple of weeks. He hasn't got the sack but he's picked up too many yellow cards so he's suspended for a fortnight. So we're kind of uh, making it happen without him and uh, of course we miss him on the podcast but listen uh, today what we're going to do is i don't know what episode it is it's season two and um, we're going to look backwards at the carrick away match i um, going to interview levi a little bit and then we're going to look forward to the Balamina match at shamrock park this saturday so levi how come you've got a tie on uh side looks smart yeah fair enough um so we went to Carrick away on, was that Tuesday night? Yeah, Tuesday yeah. night. Carrick Rangers away. So Carrick v Porter down on Tuesday night past at the, whatever, Taylor's Avenue, Lockshore Hotel Arena, as it's called. Firstly, was that your first trip to Carrick away? It was, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. What did you think of the stadium? It's crap. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> But it's got a stand and terracing and stuff like that. Did you not enjoy that part of it? Um, so Carrick away, bit of a road trip, and we took Bobby and his dad down the road, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, and we had a bit of crack on the way down the road, and then we got to, of course, we stopped at the shop on the way in the car yeah. for. Yeah, some sweets. Yeah, yeah. It's what did you get? Yeah. Uh, I think I got some bonbons. Did you on oh, strawberry bonbons? Yeah, he did. Um, so, interesting. So, were you confident going into the match, Levi? I was actually very confident and think yeah. we had a good chance of winning it. Yeah, I thought so too. Um, although we hadn't won away at Carrick since 2016. Our last point we picked up at Carrick was also in 2016. Um, so, it's always a difficult place to go, even down the years. See, even when Portadown were going really well, it was even a difficult place to go as well. Um, so tell us what happened in the match then. So Portadown were shooting, so at Carrick Rangers, and, and for some reason they segregated it, so they kept us all apart, even though the crowd wasn't that big. But we were behind the net on the terraces, yeah. yeah. And so what happened? Who scored first? Uh, Michael Ruddy scored first, didn't he? I did, yeah. Scored a header. Yeah. What a fake by Harry Anderson. Nice fake, nice step over by Harry. And... Um, yeah, Michael Ruddy got the head on it and sort of looped into the top corner, didn't it? Yeah. How did that feel? It honestly felt really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did, it, did you get excited at all? Not very excited. Did you? Did you see yourself on the highlights? Uh, I think I did. But as soon as the goal went in, I was just thinking, we're going to win this match. Yeah. I saw you on the highlights. You just were jumping up and down, all the boys <laughs> at the wee, the wee low wall. It's nice having that low wall behind the net there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, we went one up. Michael Ruddy, good goal. Um, sort of Carrick started brighter in the match. First five or ten minutes, I thought they were playing well, and then we came into it. And Michael Ruddy got the header, and then who got the second goal? Adam Sally. Adam Sally got the second goal. What was that like? Was that from a corner? Yeah, it was. They're both from corners, I think. Okay. Well, no, the first one. Well, it was a corner that got cleared, and then it came back in. Yes, Billy Stedman uh, crossed the corner for Adam Sally to head in the second goal. Yeah. And that was just before half time. Yeah. And um, how were you feeling at that stage? I felt even more confident that we were going to win the match. Yeah, being 2 0 up. That's rubbish because at half time I asked you, how do you think we're doing? And you said, oh, still not well, sure. I wasn't sure, but like I did think, but then at the same time, I didn't think we were going to win. Okay, so you're just true Wigan style. You just couldn't get too confident. Always a bit uh, real. Um, no, I two 0 up at half time. I sort of thought flip here. We're in with a very good opportunity. Um, the Dungan and Warren point match was going back and forward, and um, so it was a good opportunity to pick up three points. And then what happened after that? Big in the match. What was the biggest thing that happened in the match? Really? Well, Gibson being sent off. Yeah. I think that just motivated Carrick to like get into the game more so they can like, aid us. Yeah. And um was it a red card, do you think? No. 
Why not? He put his head, he, he headbutted him in the chest, did he not? I don't think he did. I don't really think there's much in it, honestly. No? No. Okay, anyway, he got sent off. And he could potentially get a seven-match ban for a head, for using your head like that, as far as I'm aware. So um, it was one of those ones when it's the away team, you want the player sent off. But if it was one of our players who would have done that, you would have thought a ah, yellow card would have done sort of thing. And then what happened after the red card then? So Carr kind of, they, they seemed to go up a gear and poured it down, went down a gear. Maybe thought the match was won as, as I did because obviously Gibson, yeah, yeah, as he's called, he's probably their most dangerous player, big and strong, and he's, he scores goals for them. So at that stage, I thought the game was in the bag. And then what happened? Scored the first goal, and then I was like, we're not winning. Yeah. I thought we were going to lose, but... We hung on, we got a second goal, and all four goals were down at our end, weren't they? Yeah, so then Carrick, Carrick got their two goals, got their point, and... To be fair to them, they, they battled hard for it. They didn't give up. Um, do you think it's easy to play against 10 players? Like I think I if a man know. gets sent off, why do teams do so well sometimes? I don't know. I don't know. It's just one of those things. Um, so uh, overall, how did you feel about the trip to Carrick? Uh, well, the trips were fun. Um, I'm talking about the match, though. <laughs> the result. Uh, the results. When you were walking out of the ground, how were you feeling? Disappointed, but I came out with a point. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, it was a point, a, a point further away from one point, wasn't it? Um, but it was an opportunity to claw points back. So anyway, listen, it's the it was the first point on the road at Carrick since 2016, when Owen Kerwin scored a late winner, and Pat McGibbon was the manager, and Vinnie Arkins was his assistant. Uh, Owen was one of the lads who Vinny used to bring up and down the road from Dublin. I uh, remember he scored down in the same net as well. So, listen, it ended in a two-all draw away to Carrick. It was a good night out, a little bit disappointing at the end, but when I woke up the next day, I sort of thought, well, you know, we'd, we'd beaten Warren Point and we'd drawn at Carrick. So there was four points out of six, and we hadn't lost for two matches. Um, so you have to take the small positives out of that. And I apologise those of you who don't like us being positive on here, um, some of us like to try and be positive and keep our heads up and keep our chins up. And um, yeah, flip me in the last couple of years away to car has just been horrible. So to get a point, it was all right, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Levi, I've got some quick fire questions for you okay. about your uh, about supporting Portadown. Is that okay? Yeah. Right, come on, shuffle in a bit here. All You're right. the main man for this one, okay? Here we go. I've got them written down, but I'm not showing them to, okay? okay. Uh, how long have you been supporting Portadown? Almost 11 years. Yeah? Since, basically since I was a baby. Since you were a baby. I had you at the back of the stand in a pram when you were a few months old, for sure. So uh, it's in the blood, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be done. What is the worst Portadown match that you can remember being at? Like a few weeks ago, going up and milk or down. No, going up and three or down nil. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Um, what about the two thousand and fifteen Irish Cup final? I mean, I didn't really. I was I was really little then, so you were. You're really little, but you were on the pitch at half time. That was a rotten day. Okay, so you don't really remember that so much. Well, that's good. Um, <laughs> best match you've ever been to? Uh, I can't remember any matches, but recently. Probably 1.3, no, no Portadown 3, 1.2. Yeah, at 1. Yeah, okay. so 1. Yeah, So 1.2, Portadown 3. Yeah. Yeah, Mario, right. what was good about that match? Uh, well, we were 2 0 down, and then the bonus scored. And then, so Adam Sally scored. No, Stephen Tiger. Stephen Tiger scored a volley, and then and who then scored Sally, a third? Sammy McLeod. Tyler. And he collided with the post. Was that the match when you knocked the fence down? No. No. Okay. What did you? I think that was one 0 win away. I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Um, who is your favourite current player for Portadown? Don't really have one, but I'd have. To... Oh, whoa! You don't really have one. Who's no. your favourite Portadown player I have, currently? I have to go Billy Stedman or Greg Hall. Or oh, Greg Hall. Who told you to say that? Anybody? Did I tell you to no, say that? No one. You just recognise a good quality player. 
So Greg Hall and Billy Stedman. Yeah, two good players. Um, Favourite ever Porter Down player? Lee Bonus. Who? Lee Bonus. Who's that? Oh, that's that striker <laughs> used to play for us. Went to Larn, yeah. Yeah, he's a good lad. Um, what's the team you dislike the most? Van Alvin. Yeah, how come? Uh, I don't know. We're just, they're our rival. Yeah. How do you feel about Glen Torn? Don't mind them. Mm, you'll soon learn. So Glen Avon, they're the team you dislike the most. Yeah, and funny, it's we've, we've had good battles with them over the last couple of seasons. They've kind of got the better of us this season, but we still have to go to Murphy Park more this season. Um, what's your favourite away ground? Windsor Park. Yeah? What do you like about it? I like the way bar and stuff. Oh, do you? <laughs> You like the wee bar, really? <laughs> I like the boardroom because you get free drinks. Oh, do you? Right. And so at, we were at Windsor Park a couple of weeks ago, weren't we? Yeah. And uh, yes. And did you enjoy that, basically? So how, you, how did you get round to the North Stand, by the way? Because I was like, can you go round? Uh, then... So I asked one of the Linfield security guards, how did I get to the away stand? Yeah. Right. And he said, "You go out of the stadium, right? Right, go down that street, go down that street, go down that street, go down that street, and then you should see a wee park, and then it's on the left, right? So I walked. Yeah. So I I phoned you to see if you got to the north stand, and you told me how you got there, and you'd actually gone out of the stadium and up Tate's Avenue, and Harry was with you, was he? <laughs> yeah, he was. Right. Wow. You two boys loose in Belfast. <laughs> I can't believe that. Okay. Uh, I hate Windsor Park for Irish league matches, by the Why? way, but. Listen, we're going to we're going to the League Cup final on Sunday as well, aren't we? Oh yeah. Yeah, and uh, there should be a good crowd at that and a bit of singing and a bit of atmosphere, so it'll be it'll be a bit better. Um, best goal you've ever seen at Shamrock Park? Adam Sally stuck in the mud goal. What was that one? For Adam Sally, um, shot and then he got stuck in the mud, and then Chris Lavery came and finished it. Ah, so it wasn't Adam Sally stuck in the mud goal. It was no. Chris Lavery stuck in the mud goal. <laughs> and and why do you like it so much? Well, I go on TV a lot. Yeah. And, I, you know, sometimes you're sitting watching YouTube and you'd be like, Dad, 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 Adam Sally, Chris Lavery. And just on lots of different YouTube blooper goal videos. It's was, on it, isn't it? Yeah, it's one with 10 million views that it was on and stuff. Right. Stop kicking the table there now. So there's one, so it's been viewed 10 million times. Does that make you feel proud that you were there to see that? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Um, what's your favourite ball boy position? Um, in front of the away stand has to be. Is it? I thought I thought you liked the quieter one down at the other end. No. Oh no. No. In front of the away stand. How come? I think I want to go with the away fans. All right. Okay. Just cheering if we if we score. <laughs> <laughs> has that happened? Has that happened much this season? Uh, yeah, against. We know she scored against Lento yeah. yeah. Were you down at that end? No, I was the other end, and I ran down. Oh, did you? Down the side. Me and Alex. Oh, yeah. Very good. Listen, the ball boys all do a great job at Shamrock Park. And final question is, will we beat Balamina on Saturday? It's a bit negative, but I don't think we will. I think we're going to draw. Do you? I'd take a draw. Would you take a draw? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd take a draw as well. So we move on. Porter Diner playing Balamina United at Shamrock Park here on Saturday afternoon. Um, Balamina doing quite well in the league. And um, yeah, it's going to be a tough match. They, we haven't got many points off Balamina home or away over the last couple of seasons. However, it's been close on a couple of occasions. They've beaten us by the odd goal. I think at Shamrock Park, we drew with them one all early last season, maybe. So um, you'd be yeah. happy with the draw, would you? We could be 4 0 last time I played We did at away. Balamina. Were you with me? Mm-hmm. Miserable, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you think it'll be a draw? Do you think we'll score? I don't know. Still thinking on about that. Okay. I'm going to predict a one all draw. Um, I think we've started to score goals again. Um, we're, we're more resilient. We're battling harder in matches. And, you know... I think at Carrick, we could very easily have folded and conceded more goals. So 
there's something there about I think we're a wee bit more resolute than we previously were. It's going to be a hard, hard match. Balamina, good manager, good team. Um, but every opportunity. So we've got three home matches in a row before the split. We've got Balamina, Coleraine, Coleraine, Cliftonville, and Cliftonville. So there's three matches at home. We obviously do a little bit better at home than we do away. Many points could you see us getting out of the next three home matches before the split? I'd say four. Yeah. Win against Coleraine. Where do you get your confidence from? I don't know. All right. So go win against who? Win against Coleraine. Okay. And we're going to draw against Balmina. You get beaten by Cliftonville? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you take three draws? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think we could get a couple of points out of the next three matches. Um, I have faith in the, the management and the boys um, to deliver. If we can score goals and are defending... Generally, our defending is quite good. Obviously, we conceded two goals in the second half against Carrick Rangers. Um, but I, I think against Balamina, I could see us getting a draw. I could see us drawing one each. Who do you think might score on Saturday? Uh, see Adam, Sally, O'Shane. Hi, Anderson again. Oh, so it's going to be a three-all draw? No, they're, they're, I'm just suggesting... Okay, so one of the one of the front players is going to score a goal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's probably most likely. Yeah. There's also like there's Billy Stadman, Stephen Taggart. Mm, Stevie Taggart every so often pops up with like a great volley or something yeah. like that. So maybe this will be a, a Saturday for Stephen Taggart. So listen, we're looking forward to the match against Balamina on Saturday afternoon. Um, what do all good YouTubers say on their videos? Make people make sure you like and subscribe. Absolutely, like and subscribe. Your sports TV. Mate, you're a professional, no problem yeah. at all. So, look forward to seeing you on Saturday afternoon. Hopefully, we can get a point or three against Palomina. Leave a like as well. Hmm? Leave a like as well. Leave a like. Yeah, smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Do you want to shout out to any of your ball boy friends? Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Bobby's an idiot, Harry's an idiot, Alex's an idiot, all of them are idiots. Okay, I hope they drag you through the mud by your feet on Saturday afternoon. Listen, goodbye from us, we'll see you all on Saturday. Come on the ports.